Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. In a series of videos I'm going to speak about BGP multipathing. In this scenario which I am showing you, all the routers are in the same AS. Let's say all of them are in AS1 and what I'm going to do is to show you how I can enable you know, uh, reaching from router 1 to router 4 from multiple paths. As a matter of fact, here I have router 2 as route reflector and route reflector always advertises only one path even if it has multiple paths to the destination and it only advertises one path to the clients let's say here for example router one is a client and also router three is a client router four is a client as well it only advertises one path as the best path which is not desirable what i'm going to do is to make sure that router three is going to be uh another path from uh you know um, source to the destination so let's first of all examine different scenarios. One scenario which I'm going to use right now is to make sure that router 2 is going to, you know, um, remain the route reflector, but router 3 is going to be another route reflector. I'm going to put them both in the same cluster first, and then I'm going to change the cluster ID so that you can see uh, the effect of that on router 1. Another a uh, way to do that is going to be enabling a uh, shadow route reflector. Router 2 is going to be the route reflector, but it is going to choose router 3 as another route reflector, a shadow route reflector, and each one of them can advertise one best path which might be different. And I'm going to examine this in another video, uh, maybe in the next video. Uh, but let's just start. Uh, checking the configuration on router 1. If I just go to router 1 and show IP BGP, you can see that I have 4444, which router 4 is advertising. And if I just show IP BGP 4444, it says that there is only one path to the destination. multi pathing of course, is not enabled. Even if router 1 enables maximum path multi pathing it is not going to use multi pathing because right now, only router 2 is advertising the route and you can see that this is the route reflector in cluster list 10.0.24.2 so this is the cluster id which i am going to use it i'm going to go to router 2 and i'm going to configure an interface look like zero interface look like zero no IP address is going to be 2222 and I'm going to set it to 32 bits and then I'm going to uh, show IP interface brief which says that I have added this loopback interface it is up up and right now I can of course uh, add it to OSPF as well. So if you just go to here, I can say IP OSPF one area zero, which is the uh, interface area which I have um, advertised here. So what I'm going to do here is to clear IP BGP all sessions because I want to see if this is going to be as my router ID and cluster ID, of course. If I just go to here and try to show this, for now I need to wait for the session to come up. And it might take a minute or so. So, let's see, show IP PGP summary. Okay, it might be up. And network is not in table because it has not been advertised yet. If I just go to here and see what I am advertising, show IPBGP neighbor 10.0.12.1 advertise route. It says that I am advertising these two, so other one should be receiving this in a second. Okay, now it has converged and it has received it from here cluster list is 2222. This is exactly what I wanted to have because I'm going to configure router 3 as a route reflector as well. And if I show running configuration here, section router BGP, it says that router 3 uh, here is, of course, 
show run section router PGP. It says that router 3 is a router take your client. I'm going to disable this. I don't want to have this as a router reflector client. So I'm going to say this. I'm going to router 3 show run section router BGP. I'm going to configure this in the same AS number, but let's configure an interface loop x0 for now. IP address is going to be 3333. 32 bits and then I'm going to say rather BGP 1 neighbor 10 0 13 1 is a rod reflector client neighbor 34 4 is a rod reflector client and what I'm going to say is a cluster ID, BGP cluster ID is 2222, two, 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 which means that I am putting this in the same cluster as router 2. So both of these uh, route reflectors are going to be in the same cluster. Now that I have done this, I'm going to save everything. Show run section router BGP. And just to make sure that everything is going to work fine, I'm going to clear everything. And of course, in production, you should not do this because this is going to disrupt all the neighbors. And you can see that convergence is going to take time in BGP cases. So that's going to be a long time. Right now, it is coming up. One is up, two is up. So now that I have done this, if I just go back to router one, and try to see IP BGP. It says that it has received one path only. I'm going to say show IP BGP. It says that it has received it from router four and router two is given this. Here it is. Router two is given this to router one. One more time. Now I'm going to do something on router 1. I'm going to go to configuration mode, router BGP1, and there is a command on iOS XR. What you need to do is to go under IPv4 address family, but here in regular iOS, what you need to do is just to type it under router BGP configuration, and here it says and again, you can see under iOS XR, you can see eBGP, iBGP, and eIBGP, which is going to be both of them. I'm going to use eIBGP here, of course, and I'm going to type something like two, maybe. And this is going to be a little different. So what I'm going to do is to uh, check it again and see if this has been affected. What it says is rather one is going to uh, install two paths if it has received two paths of course you can see that right now it hasn't received two paths it has only received one path which is not going to make any changes to the result but here this is the command that is uh, going to enable maximum paths or let's say multi-pathing in bgp multi-pathing in bgp of course is enabled by default but uh, the maximum path is going to be only one which means that effectively multi-pathing is disabled now if I show IP BGP, now you can see that for router 4, uh, look back interface, there are two paths here. And both of them are going to be used. You can see that the first one says multi-path is, is enabled and it is IGP. The second one is the same. And one reason is the IGP path to the destination is the same and it has received it from uh, the same cluster ID and let's trace this to the destination or oh, let's do this first of all it says that now it has both of them here and the metric is zero for both of them of course to get to the destination okay now let's trace it do trace 4444 four, four, four. I'm going to source it from uh, one 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 
and you can see that both of the paths are going to be used to get to the destination. Okay, now I'm going to do something else. If I just go back to here, you can see that both of them are in the same cluster. But I'm going to change the cluster ID on router 3 here. So what I'm going to do is to say no BGP cluster ID 2222, which is going to change everything a little bit. And let's clear everything again. Going back to router 1, and I'm going to see what I have received here. Okay, router 4 is up, router 1 is up. If I just go back to router 1 and check this IP BGP one more time, only one is received. I need to wait for some time to receive the path from router 2 as well. It's going to take a minute or so. It is still not receiving anything. Let me see. Show IP BGP. It just shows one thing. If I just go to router 3, I'm going to show IPBGP neighbor 10.0.13.1 advertise routes it says that it is advertising 4.4.4.4 so here I should be receiving it okay now I have received it and if I just check this exactly what I see is again the same thing but now the cluster list is different you can see that I am receiving this from one um, Rot reflector and this is from another rot reflector. Both of them are advertising the base paths uh, to me and now I can use it. And if I just trace it one more time, you can see that both of them are going to be used. So what did we learn in this section? If all the routers are in the same BGP A autonomous system, we can enable multi-pathing in this scenario, of course, using just uh, one command and that's going to be enabled on the router which is going to use multi-pathing that is router one here and that's going to be maximum paths eibgp ebgp or ibgp based on your choice of course here because we are under ibgp then ibgp would be okay um, like i said on ios xr you need to go under address family ip before unicast and then enable it there now we can have two rot reflectors in the same cluster or uh, in different clusters. Each one of those rot reflectors are going to send only one base path to the clients and that is because rot reflector by default sends only one base path to the client. But now because two rot reflectors are here, uh, rather one has received two routes and could enable multi-pathing to get to loopback interface of router 4 on the other side. This might have more uh, you know features that I have not covered if you do not have rot reflectors in this case um, because all of their neighbors are IBGP then rather true or rather three would not advertise rather force look back to rather one this is why I have used rot reflector but let's say that we don't have this bottom half of the topology so if we have something like this this topology is only this part and you want to get to this network you don't really need to have any rot reflectors and just enabling maximum pass on router 1 would enable you to get to this network between router 2 and 3 so this is the first one in another video like I said I'm going to examine going through multiple ASs to get to the destination